What? Alright, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Unknown Private, and welcome back to Black Door Gaming, where your access has been granted. Alright, and today, pretty much just gonna talk shit, you know, talk the shit or whatever, shoot the shits, you know, real talk, you know, and I got my cousin here with me, you know, y'all might know him, y'all might not. Cause you know he's not really that popular or anything, but you know. You know what I'm saying y'all niggas might have seen me on The Simpsons, Family Guy. You know what I'm saying two could play that game, four year old version, such films as that. I wasn't main character. I ain't had no role, but if you look closely, like I be in the background. You know what I'm saying, but I was in those movies and those TV shows. You feel me? So y'all might want to go look at those, check that shit out. But anyways. Okay, hold on. So were you the yellow? Like, were you yellow or were you, like, brown in The Simpsons? I'm the dude who ran the Quickie Mart. Okay. I'm brown. All right. I think he's, like, the only brown person. Yeah, he is the only brown person. Him and the other but I'm black, saying, like, man. if you were in The Simpsons and you were yellow, then you were in all those other shows and movies, we would spot a yellow dude. Nah, I wasn't yellow, my name. All right. I was yeah. regular. He's the brown guy that no one knows. It's cool. We're going to play us some Madden. You know what I'm saying? I'm... Probably finna get destroyed, my nigga. But uh, we just come. We gonna we gonna discuss a few things, man. You know, like we gonna get this Black Door game in real talk. This is another little series we trying to add to it. You know. So, um, Ken Folk, what you what you what you got on your mind, man? I know you was complaining about the Ninja Turtles movie. Right. I I didn't see plenty of complaints about it. I mean, what's your what's All your right. deal? Here's my, here's my thing. I'm gonna be the, I'll be the cowboy. I don't give a shit. Here's here's my thing when I when it comes to the Ninja Turtles. All right. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm young, you know, I was born in 1994, I'm not that old, you know, so I can't really say, you know, I grew up on the Ninja Turtles, but the movie I remember, you know what I'm saying, the Ninja Turtles looked like fucking turtles, <laughs> alright, you look at them now, they don't even look like turtles, now they people be, hold on, they look like turtles. Come on, and everybody's like, whoa, what does a mutant Ninja Turtle look like, well, bitch, it looks like a mutant Ninja Turtle. Allow me to introduce you to my time machine, bitch, nigga. Go to YouTube, type in... Or or that. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at... Well, I don't even know the name of the movie. The I think Ninja it's called Turtle Teenage movie. Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, it was a stat, right? Yeah. All right, where they had fucking Jet Li's cousin or whoever he was in it. <laughs> All right, he was doing karate and shit, delivering pizzas. That wasn't Jet Li's fucking cousin. Well, that was probably Jet Li himself. All right, well, yeah. Man. All right, well, had him in the movie. Liver okay. pieces. April O'Neil actually looked like April O'Neil from cartoons. Like when you see April O'Neil, you think of April O'Neil. So you kind of so you the, mad that they actually made April O'Neil bad? They, it's Megan Fox. She don't seem like a reporter. No, no. like no. That's why she got kicked off. Fucking what was it? Transformers. Transformers. Yeah, that's why she got kicked off. They Transformers. Transformers from the ground up, cause Transformers I grew up on didn't have no bad oh bitches. Oh my gosh! All right, can we go back to that in a minute? Can I stick on Ninja Turtles right now? Stay on Ninja Turtles, right. my nigga. My thing is when you see the new quote unquote Ninja Turtles and you look at that fucking trailer, Michelangelo's like all fucking beefed up and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, they all look like an old one, correct? But they like they were different sizes, heights. You know what I'm saying? They had different looks to them, even without their mask and their weapons. You can tell who is who. This one, they're all fucking Amazons. They're all seven feet tall, and they're all like fucking two fifty, just beefcakes, dude. Yeah. Like you don't, you know what I mean? You can't tell who's who or what's what. I, I agree. It's fucking you know, ridiculous. They tried to go more along the lines of like each turtle kind of looks. A certain way according to their personality like I guess out of all of them, Michelangelo would be the fucking Jenny Craig dropout you know what I'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> he's the one they looking for cause he's the one that just eat pizza and sit on his ass okay but now like that that was that was a good you know what I'm saying that was, that was a good analogy or whatever because he did in the old movie he did look like that the go ninja go ninja go but that was that that movie, that, yo that was yeah. shit that was the best. I was like, okay, now when you go from that movie to where, like I said, Michelangelo was the shortest. He was stubby. You could tell who was which. Now they're all, aren't they animated? Yeah. All right, they're animated and they all just look fucking swole out their minds. And they, <laughs> that is just crazy. It's ugly. It's stupid. Right, like I said, I, I can't sit there and disagree with you because, like I said, I think I read, I read somewhere they said Donatello like uses gadgets and shit like Batman. 
I mean, I get it because he's the smart one. He's the smart one, but, but he's what? never used that shit before. That, that that defeats the whole purpose of him training to be a ninja. I mean, even though ninjas use tools, they don't use yeah. gadgets. You know, like so Batman figured, wouldn't be if like if Batman didn't have tools, would he be considered a ninja? If he didn't use gadgets, he well, yeah, gadgets, yeah. If he did, yeah, I guess, gadgets, I guess, I guess fucking tools, so. He stick to the he, shadows. Yeah, he would be the perfect example of a ninja, but because he used gadgets and technology and all this other stuff. He's not a ninja, but Batman would be the closest thing to a ninja. That's 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 true. Okay, but now let's say Donatello has gadgets. Donatello. Okay, yeah. so he's not a ninja anymore. He's just a turtle. But they don't even look like teenagers though. That too. <laughs> Nigga, fucking Leonardo had a beard. Are you kidding? I, no, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that. What the fuck? <laughs> You always have me. You yeah. me, though. I don't know if he had a beard You had me not. going, my nigga. I don't know if he had a beard or not. Okay? Don't be screen watching either. Look at him on play. I don't, I don't know, know how to play this shit. I don't, know if he had a, I don't know if he had a beard or not, okay? But, like, it's just, like, you don't even want to watch these movies anymore, dude. <laughs> nah, and, and another thing, like, they try to go out of their way to, like, put backstories and yeah, shit. Like, and completely... April O'Neil's dad, well, her, her friend of her father's was trying to make something to protect the streets. Man, fuck all that, man. April hey, O'Neil's a reporter. She's I give a reporter. two shits about anything else. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. Then foot soldiers are shooting guns. <laughs> what the fuck kind of gang member shit is this? <laughs> like, this is the most retarded shit I've ever seen. The foot soldiers were ninjas with white belts. My dude Shredder. Basically. My dude Shredder is Ain't like... Shredder like a machine or yeah, some shit? Like, he's not even... Like, I don't know. Like I said, we're going based off the preview and stuff. Nobody like, seen the movie. He, like, Nobody here seen the movie anyway. It just anyway. doesn't look like, it doesn't look like the Ninja Turtles you remember. Alright? It just doesn't. No, it this doesn't. Controller is true, right? And I'm just, I'm trying to understand why everybody needs to, like, explain every fucking thing. Nobody cares yeah. about April O'Neil's upbringing. I sure the fuck don't. <laughs> like, teenage, mutant, ninja... <laughs> Turtles. I don't know how motherfucking much more description you need to make a movie. Everything's in the title. These niggas ain't teenagers. I don't know no goddamn seven foot seven teenagers. I'm telling you, that's all so, he pretty much was. <laughs> seven foot seven. That ain't no teenage shit. No, it's not no teenage shit. I don't know if y'all are mutants. You know what I'm saying? Because according to April O'Neil's fucking best friends, whatever... They created these niggas in the lab. Okay. That ain't no mutant shit. Yeah, that's like not, no. That's retarded, you know. That, they're like all Wolverines. Are they technically <laughs> mutants because they were created? I know, because Wolverine was born with an ability to heal. Yeah. But and that other just, shit was given yeah, to them. Then they just fucked them off after that. So basically what they are is teenage experiment Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Experimental Ninja Turtles. Play with that name however you want, but they ain't mutants. Yeah, not I even heard they was aliens, which is even dumber. Alien turtles. <laughs> Just let that marinate, my nigga. Here, like, and this goes into like them like rebooting the Spider-Man series and but, telling us the fucking origin story again. Why do I need to know how Spider-Man got his power? Okay, but all jokes aside, they fucked that first Spider-Man all the way up to where they need an origin story. But you don't have to. I mean, how he got his powers. That shit stays the okay, same no matter but, how many times you slice it. But if you go from the other Spider-Man to this Spider-Man, they needed an origin story. Okay. They um, needed, the they, needed, they, needed the, they needed the reboot because Gwen wasn't in the first one. So they waited all the way to the third one, you know, to where her and Peter didn't know each other and all this other stuff. So they had to reboot Spider-Man. Spider-Man is totally different. Okay, they had the reboot. I get, I get the reboot, right. but I don't know why I had to sit through like an hour and a half of him getting bit by a fucking spider again. <laughs> Cause he fucked the first one up. If they the first one he got bit by a spider. I don't give a fuck <laughs> where the spider bit him. <laughs> bit him. We know it. Stop doing that shit. Don't read oh the fucking God. story and be like, guess what happened to Peter Parker? What? He got bit by a spider. <laughs> you shitting me? For real? Who don't know that shit? <laughs> I'm sick of this, oh, man. God. Like, stop rebooting movies and telling me the same shit I already know. I'm not paying. Look, it's already expensive enough to go to the movies. Okay. You think I want to go and pay for popcorn that's like twenty fucking dollars with a ragged ass watered down drink? It's even worse than that. He threw it right fucking to him. My <laughs> goodness, man. And then I'm gonna sit there and sit through an hour 
of this movie, and I already know what's gonna happen. What's the point of going to see the movie then, Ken? I don't know. He's gonna fight. That's what I'm going to okay. see. The fight scene. Okay. You really telling me you're going to see Spider Man's origin every time you no, go? No, it's not every time. They is is a different character. It went from Tobey Maguire. Who gives a fuck? To somebody totally different. So it was basically an origin because it was like starting over completely. But he got bit again. Okay. I know this. Shit. You know he's going to get bit again. So why tell me that again? I have no idea why I tell okay. you that again. That's the argument. That's all I'm saying. There might be newcomers on Spider Man. You know what I mean? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Bitch, everybody know who's Spider Man. My, my sister's 14. She didn't know anything about Spider Man. His name is Spider Man. You got to be an idiot to think he got attacked by a lion or something. No, he's thinking he got attacked by a lion, but at the same time, you know, that's interesting. Oh, he got bit by a spider. I want to see him get bit by a spider. I don't. So, coming from a nigga who. Been seen Spider Man, and I ain't even a Spider Man fan. What y'all need to do is fix the Hulk movie, cause I'm sick. That Nobody gives a shit Whoa. about the Hulk. Hey, my nigga, bro. My nigga. Oh my goodness. My Nobody nigga. cares. Like Hulk has to be like the least care about Marvel character <laughs> ever. And this pisses me off, cause I like the Hulk, my nigga. Okay, he's the most like interesting him. character. Ever. You can, what makes him interesting? He didn't beat everybody up. He beat Wolverine, bitch ass up. That he makes him interesting, cause he's a bully. He ain't no bully. He he's a Bully. Everybody that get their ass whooped by uh, the Hulk came looking for it. Like who? Wolverine came looking for it. Thor thought he wanted to step up. Thor tested him a little bit. And got his ass beat. He didn't like completely like just step up to him and shit. It doesn't matter, my nigga. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Not the same. I'm sick of this shit. That's not the same. Like, are right, you saying that All right, people, pretty much nobody really knows the Hulk story because no one cares about the Hulk. So, therefore, you wouldn't be as mad if they came out with an origin story for the Hulk? Because nobody knows him? No. That's not what I'm saying, because I sure as fuck don't want to sit through Bruce Banner's story again. Okay, Have you seen the Hulk? No, they made so many with different people, I don't even know what's real. I don't even know what's real anymore. Look, I didn't like the Hulk in the Avengers, because the, the movie contradicts itself. The at movie, the end of the, the movie, movie listen, at the end of the movie, when they fighting all them aliens and yeah. shit, and that big worm alien coming, yeah. and he's like, oh, God, everybody get ready. And the Hulk's like, I don't got to get ready because I'm always angry. And he drops the nigga. Yeah. Why the fuck did you flip out on the whole helicopter shit <laughs> and tear the whole goddamn plane out the sky, you dumbass? <laughs> what was the point of that? You almost killed everybody, but you in control? Take several seats, you dumbass nigga. <laughs> That's stupid. All right, so like I said, I don't know much about the Hulk. So can the Hulk be controlled? Because I felt like that's that what was happening in the movie. I felt like they was the using. Movie tell it, yeah. I felt like they were using Hulk as like this major weapon of mass destruction, and they just completely had him under control, and they can have him do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. You know, you, what I'm like, and was just when you shit. when you compare it to like like the cartoon movie, The Avengers, to a point. You can point the Hulk in the direction of who you want that nigga to drop, yeah. but then you got to deal with him if he don't calm the fuck down after it's all over. Because like when I think of Hulk, I think of him as like a real, like a brute retard, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a like a buff ass Jimmy. Yeah, from South <laughs> yeah. You, <laughs> you guys, you guys, come, come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's what I think of it. Like I'm like, yo, Hulk is big, slow, retarded person who does. Oh my gosh, he's a big, slow, retarded person, all right, that you can't control or whatever, but he has, like, the brute strength, and that just makes him, like, just dangerous. He's, he's retarded strong. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's green. He's a retarded <laughs> strong. Any better, yeah, like, he has a, like, he has retarded strength, okay? That's, That's what, what I think stupid. about when I think about the Hulk, all right? But let's get off the Avengers before I get mad, because I'm going to bring up Ant-Man, and that's a whole different story. <laughs> He's in the movie, so okay. move on. All right, move on. move on. That's done. The Avengers sucks. I'm pretty sure the second one's going to suck even more. I don't know. Right. We'll see. As long as they keep the Hulk out of it. And I heard that same dude going to be playing the Hulk, which is... Well, he has to now. You can't just up and switch people. And yes, you can. You up and switch people up into this point. Okay, but that was several different Hulk movies. It wasn't like Hulk 1, Hulk 2, Hulk 3. This is Avengers 2. You can't <laughs> switch them. You can switch whoever the fuck you want to switch, my nigga. Dude, I'm telling you. That means that then they're going to have to start all over with the Avengers series. That's fine. Get the Hulk right. It's worth it. So they just started it. Okay. And obviously people like that dumbass movie. I'm Obviously people like that dumbass movie. I 
can't. So what you're saying is not today. You want them to start over the, the whole, whole the whole, whole series, series, the whole thing, just. Just Man, to redo whole. They ain't gotta change shit. They can put out the same Avengers movie. Just put a different goddamn character playing the Hulk. That's okay, it. So would they like, like run the same movie and just have that nigga interact? What was it called? Blue screen them in. Yep. That's green all screen. That, green screen them. Yep. That's how you. All right, yep. That's how you want to do it. Yep. It's gonna suck even more. I don't give a shit. I'll be the only nigga in the theater seeing it then, <laughs> cause I'm gonna support the shit out of it. That's so okay. garbage. Well, I don't care what you say, my nigga. It is what it is. It's so garbage. It's so garbage. Is this me? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. We got off topic. I was just hitting the button because I thought I was still on defense. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm moving on. All right. I think. Okay, so, think about, all right, so if they, like, how they restart things, right? Now, how would you feel if they were to make, like, another Power Rangers movie? Who you going to put in not it? Not just any Power Rangers movie. Who you going to put in it? Like, remake the Ooze movie. I fucks with the ooze, my nigga. Okay. And seeing that we're a little age difference apart, I fucks with the ooze. What? I'm about, we're about eight years apart. Yeah, eight years. Okay. All right. Yeah. But how how would they redo that? Because I feel like that was a great, like, Power Rangers, if if Power Rangers would have kept going, Power Rangers single-handedly would have been, like, the greatest anything. But I think we was just, we was just fucking young, and niggas, they was trying to cash in on us, my nigga. Like, they mean? had... Big Bad Beetleborgs, VR Trooper. It was like a ton of shit that and came see, on, my You nigga. just said that shit, and I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, really? I am dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, basically, they were all like Power Rangers, except okay. it wasn't as many. I remember, like, one of them, like, in a comic book store or something, right? Yeah, VR Trooper. We are VR Trooper. Yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah, okay, I yeah. remember that. All right, now like I'm Like I said, it was just three of them niggas. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I was saying, so, how, how would they redo that? I don't know. I really, I really just say you you take that movie and and make it again because it's it's a whole gen. Like how many people remember that shit? I your do. sister don't even know what that is. Exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't, like I said, the I said your sister, the 90s. fucking Xavier, everybody down below your sister and lower. Yeah. Well, how old is your sister? Fourteen. Boom. They can remake the movie. You put whatever the fuck you want in it, and then technology that came so much better, they can make that shit so realistic now. But the only reason they wouldn't do that because they couldn't find another douche to play Tommy. <laughs> Tommy will play his fucking self. He's still in the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in the show. So Tommy, Tommy can just play Tommy? Yeah, he's Tommy still, can play Tommy. He's still in... What is the power? What is the show? Is Power Rangers I don't know. X? I just know the name of the show. I have no clue. And I was, my little sister was watching it. I go in there and I see Tommy. He's like a fucking professor. Okay? My thing is, nigga, grow up. Alright? <laughs> it is over. You are not a Power Ranger no more. You know what I'm saying? You pretty much came in, you know, took my nigga Jason's spot. If you don't know who Jason was, he was the original Red Ranger. You came in. Man, everybody much grew up. Both right, right, my nigga's spot, okay? And then they just make a whole new color for you. No, wasn't he like green at first or some shit? He was green. All right, so he was green. That wasn't good enough. And then they just give him white because yeah. he he was like the only one who really like knew karate in real life or something. Like grow up, bro. You can't do that much with karate. Okay? And then they gave the nigga white ranger at that. Like, yeah, like, come on, like hey, he's just shit. he's just gonna stand out. You know how rare white tiger is? No. Man, when's the last time you seen a white tiger in real life? We can go to the zoo right now and see a regular tiger. Like, no, Tony the Tiger. Um, what was the, the circus? The dude who got attacked by the white tiger? That wasn't a white fucking tiger. It was a lion. That was, that was a lion? Yeah. Was nigga. it white? No. Lion oh, don't well, come never right, my nigga. He could be an albino lion. You serious? I am dead serious. You have you ever seen an albino snake? No. I've seen an albino giraffe. <laughs> I've seen an albino roach. <laughs> Hey, I'm my nigga. You laughing at shit? I seen that albino roach. Right. You so, can't even kill it. Sorry. I let that hoe make so, it. What the fuck? <laughs> where the fuck do we stay where we have albino roach? I was I was in the north when okay. I seen that shit. All right, back. I ain't seen one since. So then. pretty much to sum it up, Tommy is an albino roach. All right, because they just want to throw out colors and shit. All right, but they like, come on, like he's. Still I'm saying, what I'm saying is he got a he got a. Uh, a, a animal that was actually current. He yeah. got a white tiger. Everybody else, shit was extinct. Mm. Tyrannosaurus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> 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 
my nigga. I've seen the Taylor Swift. Last time you seen the Ooze movie. Like, you gotta think about it. Like, I was gonna say. There's no. only been one. Okay, I know. I said when was the last time you seen the Ooze movie. Okay, okay. Yeah, they had the first Hulk. That was the second time around, though. Because at first, they had, like, pterodactyls and all that other shit. It wasn't until they went up into the forest or they ever met that one bitch that had the crush on the Black Ranger. What was his name? Adam? I'd have slept with her. Yeah, I would have I banged the yeah. brain. That I'd, hit, I'd hit her in that my ranger suit. That bitch gave me a frog? I'd hit her in my ranger suit. A toad. That's the best you can give me, bitch. But at the same time, I just feel like you can't remake every movie. But Spider-Man, shit like that, is great remakes. But you can't like remake shit like fucking Power Rangers and shit. Niggas just running out of ideas. Is it not? Is it not obvious? I'm saying, but even if you run out of ideas, fucking just copy that shit. Copy it to a fucking T. I wouldn't change nothing else. <laughs> you know it's gonna look, so it's gonna look better <laughs> because it's different technology and shit. So it's gonna automatically look better. But at the same time, like, don't ruin it. Don't change the small stuff that made that movie that movie. Don't change ooze the whatever his name was. Ivan ooze. Don't change Ivan ooze to a different color. That would fucking throw me off. Okay, well, if you kind of feel that way about about movies, I mean, how many times have these niggas remade Call of Duty? It been the same copy and paste shit on that shit. No, forever. it hasn't. All right, here we go. No, it hasn't. All right, well, I can't really say because I didn't start playing Call of Duty until Modern Warfare 2. And Modern Warfare 2, hands down, is the greatest Call of Duty I've ever which, played in my life. Call of Duty, don't, don't play like that one. Like, Fucking none of them. Fucking Black Ops and all that garbage shit doesn't play like Modern Warfare 2. It's the same shit. No, it isn't. The gun. Do you remember that lineup of guns? Who gives a fuck about the gun? I I mean, do. It, it, it don't matter. Cause well, you, when's the last time you seen a good P90? Ain't any good P90? Oh, oh, since, oh it's never. Oh, nigga. <laughs> fucking never. I thought we've been talking about some real shit. I'm going to say Rainbow Six had the best P90. Oh, when is the last time you seen a good P90 on a Call of Duty? Never. Fuck it. Rainbow Six shooting game and I'm just gonna dog it because no other shooting game is really bet realistic shooting game is better than Modern Warfare 2. I ain't gonna fucking say Battlefield because you gonna no, say Battlefield shit. Battlefield shit. Because you a Call of Duty fan. I'm not a Call of Duty fan. What are you? I fucking hate Call of Duty. Get the fuck it. Hey you bought everyone? They came out did you get it? <laughs> yeah. <Get the> fuck <laughs> I need it because I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> Because I needed, I, I needed, needed a shooting <laughs> game. That's the only reason. You had a shooting game. The previous Call of Duty. So why the fuck did you find it important to buy the next? Because one? everybody else was getting it. I didn't want to be the only one left on Model of course. 2. You see that white man running? That's yeah. how you ran the game. Stop, <laughs> my nigga. <laughs> Let me get that. <laughs> Let me get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. Okay, right, you can say how many times they remake Call of Duty. Well, okay. they remake Godfield and all that shit. Even outside of Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? Like... I know you look at other games and be like, man, the graphics is shit on here. The graphics is shit. The graphics is shit. Like, graphics don't make a good game, what? my nigga. You mean tell me just because the game no, looks good? I'm not saying it has to just look good, but I want to play a good game that looks bad. I would. What? It looks horrible. It's a good game. Who gives a fuck how it looks? I don't want to play a game that's so, crap that looks good. So we can go back, play Nintendo 64, play GoldenEye. No, we can't play GoldenEye. Why not? Because fucking control will fuck you up. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's a good game. It is a good game. It's a good game. That would look bad. Sometimes nostalgia will fuck you up. Because I done went back and played some of these old games I was crazy about. Yeah. And I'd be like, God damn, this game is horrible. <laughs> like, it was the cream of the crop of that time. Okay. At the time that game came out, it was good. But I'm saying but like... Golden Eye was kind of above its time. It was. It, it was, was like a new wave of shooting. That but no we got we got Prima Donna niggas. Like, niggas be having 90-inch TV still can't split screen and shit. And niggas split screen, you still can't split screen TV either. And shit, niggas cry. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, we used to split screen at 20 inch. About, as long as you play <laughs> split screen and you really want to go back to that shit. I ain't above playing the shit. If I want to play with y'all niggas... Oh, dude, I'll run the fucking split screen. It's nothing. Oh like, my God. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. <laughs> what the fuck? But it's like, my biggest complaint about gaming, though, like, I'm, I'm nitpicking with that Call of Duty shit. I don't like it because, like, I don't like Call of Duty more, more so because of the community, the people, the type of niggas that play Call of Duty. Look like, a nigga will be like, 
Oh, nigga, you failed at life because your KD ain't 10.0. Suck a dick. That's just online, though. Like, that's, that's, that's literally But no niggas will really hold you to this shit. Like, you can't talk in this room because your KD too low. Yeah, because I don't give a fuck. All right, since you want to go that far, let's go even further. I knew some female gamers that wouldn't talk to you if your KD was a certain <laughs> thing. And we all know what I'm talking about. No need to say it. Games. That's okay. some bullshit, I knew, bro. I, man, me, me and Kale joined the room. This bitch wouldn't even <laughs> acknowledge us because say if we had like a 2.0. Oh, your shit is not 2.5. Really, bitch? Really? And your shit is nowhere near 2 nothing. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do who has a 2.5 KD? Like, that's why I say it's game, taking, that's taking game in a little bit. That is taking game a little bit too. Like, that's not even technically. So I can be broke as fuck, but if my KD right. Yeah. Yeah. If, even if. I bet you. I bet you. She the type. My KD 2.5, but her head game ain't even a point one <laughs> type shit. Like, you want to sit there and tell me my shit got to be a certain way. But you're stinking it up. Your like, shit, come on. Your shit has to be at least a 2.5 for her to talk to you. If it isn't a 2.5, and I get to talk to, which is really dumb. That means you're taking the game a little too far, and you just need to kill yourself. Yeah, I could agree with that. All right, but I'm dotting you up, so. I'm dotting you up, That is completely so. crazy. Of course. Where is the goddamn thing? Yeah, that's stupid. And then with most of the games we're talking about remaking and stuff, they do it every year. Man, like we can talk about Madden. They remake Madden but every you year. Buy it every year, just so. for an update. But am I gonna buy it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> then don't sit there and be like, they fucking remake Madden every year. I'm not like, like, saying as complaining. I'm just yeah, saying. Here's, here's my biggest complaint with gaming. Like, uh. I bought, I still got the 360 and shit, you know, the one out or whatever. Yeah. And I don't play my 360 like that, so I ain't gonna fucking renew that gold shit. So because I won't renew it, these motherfuckers took all my damn arcade games from me. Are you serious? I'm serious, I can't play none of them hoes. Anything I bought, and I want to repeat that, anything I bought on Xbox Live, yeah. arcade, went trial. I can't play none of that. And I got about 30 games. Yeah, we all like we all downloaded them at the same time. So I got about 30 ideas. games. I can't play none so of them. So, you tell me right now, you can't play Worms. I cannot. You can't play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Death Tanks, none of that Charles shit. Charles HD, none of that shit. Nope. Yeah, that sucks. So, I'm like, my biggest complaint is like, damn, what kind of like crook shit is this? Like, when did it get to the point where like when I bought something, I didn't own it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I, that's why I'm kind of against this whole little digital age shit where everything go digital and ain't nothing physical no more. Cause motherfuckers want to take it from you, ain't nothing you can do about I'm it. I'm saying you're looking at it like that, and I'm looking at it as well. It's I can't thing. Crack my damn game, so I don't have to go buy another one. <laughs> if if my digital copy of my game gets scratched, I'm fucking something up. Okay, it's yeah. impossible. Yeah, my shit says disc unreadable. I'm smacking somebody. <laughs> so therefore, I think the shit's great. Okay. In that aspect, it is great. Because my little boy fucks some games up. But, you know what I'm saying? My my biggest thing is, games are kind of getting easier. Not kind of, they are. They, they like... You've seen over you four think, years. You would think shit would get, would get harder. They would at least make a hard game for a nigga. I'm getting blown out. God <laughs> damn. After a four, in a four-year span, they've came out with how many Gears Awards? And them shits got weaker okay. and weaker each time. They've the came first out... One, was good. Second one. The second one was great. It was good. That was the only one I played. Third one was like, okay, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then they introduced that sawed off bullshit in the third then one. Then they fucking brought out Judgment and completely lost everybody. Well, the only reason that game sold is because of the title. I feel like it's like none of them shits are doing it. Like, I, I'm not a Halo fan, but I heard Halo got with real bad. Real quick. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to understand what the fuck people's what oh the gosh. fucking point of all this shit is. Like, I good. love gaming, but I'm I'm getting to a point where I kind of feel like uh, me and gaming gonna have to like agree to disagree and go our separate ways. Like, I'll just stick to the shit that I like and just be a retro gamer. Cause one day PS3 gonna be retro. It's just like now. Nintendo is retro. It ain't retro now because everybody ain't got a PS4. Damn PS2 man. is retro. 
Because oh. everybody ain't got a P. Nobody plays PS2 no more. If you do, you still I own know, the PS3. Some people go play PS2. But they still own the PS3. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so you mean like just own that and like not the latest version? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, like PS3 gonna be retro one day because everybody gonna have a PS4. So if you want to play PS3, it's because you chose to. It's because something on PS3 you got that you fuck with, and they ain't got it on the new system. You know what I'm saying? So I think I one day. One day soon, I'm going to end up just being that retro gamer. Like, I don't play nothing unless... I don't play none of that new shit. Because that shit is weak. <laughs> you know? But, I mean, it is what it is. I can't can't really fucking call it. Because they'll come out with a good game and have a good idea. And then the very next, like, part two of that shit will just suck. Like, Dead Space. First Dead Space was the shit. Scary <laughs> as fuck. Like... <laughs> I ain't even play that shit at night. And I'm grown. Like, <laughs> I give two shits, my nigga. I tell a nigga, yo, that shit freaked me out. You know what I'm saying? I played that shit in the daytime, midday, windows up, on the phone with the police. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Dead Space 2 came out and it was like, damn, this is it? Dead Space 3 was even worse than that. And it's just like, all right. But you'll get people like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? <laughs> That's how they sound. That's exactly how they sound. <laughs> and that's what the game come out like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people, just like, me just, off, how you, just how you're pissed off. There's some people who loves that shit, I'm sure. I guess. I'm pretty sure some people, like, even, you see, even said the same thing about Naruto. Oh, they fucking pause it before do a special. They do, but you like that shit. I think the shit's awesome. I think it's stupid. I think, therefore, you gotta fight me straight up. And there's no kind of specials going on, bitch. You just got to whoop my ass. How can I whoop your ass when they're going to tell you, hey, be careful. He's doing a special. That's what I'm saying. Specials, like, all right, think about it. Specials, okay, I'm going to let you talk and I'm going to shut all right, that down. Specials, either, people either do specials to end something or take a big chunk of your fucking life away. Turn the tide. All right. So, therefore, you're not turning shit. If I'm whooping your ass and hitting me with a special, then it's back an even game. No, you gotta whoop my ass, whoop my ass, whoop my ass. That's the only way to get back in this game. Was, if this was Street Fighter, what you mean, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, all that just, bullshit? Just let, me, just let me finish, bro. I can see if this was like Street Fighter, and they told you I was finna do a, They me? told you I was finna do a special. Okay. that makes sense. But we're ninjas. Ain't like us being sneaky part of the fucking game? But you sitting there telling the nigga, yo, you better duck. You better block. Ain't that taking the whole, like, whole aspect of the game? We might as well not be ninjas. Okay, but now you're talking about being ninjas, all right? Ain't never talking about ninjas. In the naked eye, could Shut you see real ninjas up. fighting? Shut the fuck could up. Could you see real ninjas, like, just going at it in the naked eye? No, they're going too fast shit, right? So what the fuck? What the game on 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 the that's dumb. Why would they make the game? Because we can't see them fighting in the naked eye. We're, they're assuming that we're looking through ninja goggles. Oh, they're assuming now, right? Yes. Did they send you a pair of ninja goggles when you bought the game? Yep. No, the fuck they didn't. Yes, they did. Fuck fucking lying, because I ain't get one. I got one with the first copy. Oh, That's hate. why your ass want to complain about it. Man, I can't see you doing that special, the bro. This one suck ass. It's either, but, you either mash a... Like, how the fuck? You gonna mash a button faster than me? Yeah, you you're gonna, ass nigga. You're gonna spend don't stop niggas from you're spamming gonna, it. You're gonna that's spend. Difference between, that's the difference between me and you, my nigga. Like, what you mean? You, you the type of gamer like, I ain't finna try to mash against my nigga. Oh, no, I get it off. I want it to go through. I'm a ninja. If I'm, I'm still conscious, I ain't dead. I should be able to try to have an opportunity to get out of that shit. It's you should have caught with it in the face. You threw a fist fight. Just because I threw a punch at you don't mean you gonna sit there and take you it. You shouldn't have con. You shouldn't have connected. That's fucking I should have weaved it and you shouldn't have been able to hit it. You can't weave it because you can't push the button to fucking weave. <laughs> what did you just say? I said, what did you just say? As soon as I throw a punch, you don't move because that's what you want to do. I shouldn't have got caught in the first place. I shouldn't have let you hit You should have just walked away and not fought me at all. That's what you're saying? Pretty much. Okay. We you shouldn't even get into an altercation. Let's not play no fucking fighting game. If we would have got into an altercation, then, hey, whatever goes on, goes okay. on. Okay? That mashing button shit is gay. You, they give you options. You that's can the only way, bro. That's the only way. Hey, let's let's be realistic. That's the only way you even beat me is because we had to mash buttons. Oh please, my nigga. You can't beat me. I just this, this nigga just oh, this nigga. Like, are you kidding me? This is the shit I be talking about. So that wouldn't happen, Madden. Fucking thirty.
39 and shit. Hell, mine ain't gonna happen to Madden 39. <laughs> Because the attributes going to be of the person playing. They're going to be flying and shit All these now. little big ass niggas want to sit on the couch and have <laughs> like a speed of six. Ain't running out, running nobody. Oh, man. My nigga. The fuck? And then he jumped over like a six foot nigga. How tall is he? Fucking DBs ain't six foot. Tell me, okay. Cam Newton like, so what the fuck happened? <laughs> he fumbled. Don't worry about that. I'm going to wait for two seconds and he fumbled the ball. I don't give a shit. Got to wrap this shit up. Because we need to finish this, my nigga. I'm down by two touchdowns, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to bring this bitch back. So, oh, man. as always, I'm pro, <laughs> a.k.a. the Renaissance Man of Gaming, my little cousin. I'm not going to let him do all that AKA A.k.a. Astro Jr. A.k.a. Oh, Astro Jr. Jr. A.K.A. I see why you mad. Ninety four. Literally, I see why you mad. Ninety four on Instagram. Follow me. I got pictures of bad bitches and all that shit. So if you want to see some bad bitches, come on down to my Instagram and look at some bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, yeah, check that nigga out. Look, I didn't even fucking fumble. Give Keep me the ball back. They want to. Give me the ball yeah, back. Man. See, this is what gaming in the new millennium is like. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's fucking fair, because I did so I suggest all my people who feel where I'm coming from, let's put our money in a pot. Fucking build us a time machine and leave these dumb ass niggas right where they at. Black Door Gaming. Access always granted as long as you hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Do y'all damn jobs, and holler back at your boy next time you